All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. I am Captain Beefy here with the Game Vault today. And we're going to do just a little bit more cooking today, but we're going to cook up something nice today. Do you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream, unless you're lactose intolerant, and then you're probably not a big fan of ice cream, and this video is not for you. But if you're not lactose intolerant, well, I've got a treat. All right, so this is going to require a little bit more work than the cooking we've done before because we're going to have to do a little bit of traveling to make a variety of ice creams. But we're going to start with the very basics, and that is ice cream requires a viscous custard. And that's a very simple dish to make. It requires three things that we get here at our farm. Processed sugar is one of them, and we get that from the... Uh, cactus by refining it twice into a uh, into like a puree or whatever and then into processed sugar after that it's going to require some cream and we do have the feeder out there to collect milk from various creatures so that we can make cream so that's easy enough to come by and last but not least it's going to require eggs and we also get that from the feeder so those are the three things you need to make viscous custard easy peasy Japanesey right all right let's put all that back for now the other main thing we're going to need to make ice cream is frozen tubers and that's going to require a little bit of legwork so we're going to go look and find out where you get those and once we do that we'll come back and start working on the rest of the recipes Let's boogie. All right, well, this may come to a as a shock to you, but frozen tubers are found on frostbound planets and they're easy to recognize when you're looking at the galactic map because they will have dioxide on them and these plants right here, frost frostwort. Okay, so once you uh, find a planet that has those resources on it, you're gonna look around and you're gonna look for the little um, leaf like that, but it's gonna tell you that you have found frozen tubers. Some more frostwort. Oh, we're growing that stuff there. So, you know, just a quick little scan around with the uh, L2 button and you should locate some. We haven't located any yet, so we'll go uh, take a quick jaunt and see if we can't find some. That way you guys know what you're looking for. It's pretty easy to find. It's not that uncommon. And if you're going to make a bunch of ice cream like I am, you're going to need a buttload of this stuff, let me tell you. All right, so we got our little base here that we built. And, you know, we pretty much have a uh, base on all the major planet types. So finding these things... It's fairly easy for us because it just you know we just have to travel to the right spot that looks like a frozen tuber over there you can see it glowing in the distance right see that we don't even see it on our radar yet but there it is so let's take a quick jaunt over and pick some up and like I said you're gonna need a bunch of it but it's fairly uh, fairly common on these planets and you know give you a little bit of time to run around you'll find some now, of course, you're not going to make ice cream in the mass quantity I am. I'm just doing that because, you know, why not? But if you only want to make a few, you might get four, six, whatever, from this frozen tuber plant. And just basically hit the little square. And as you can see, we gathered, what, seven on that one. So not a bad haul for one shot, right? Only a few hundred more to go. Woohoo. All right, so... Once you have that and some viscous custard, you are ready to make your first batch of ice cream. Now what we're going to do is head back to the base and whip up a couple um, basic recipes. Then I'll show you where to get the items for your more advanced ones. So we'll see you there. All right, so we're back. That didn't take long at all, did it? So 
let's take a look at some of these basic recipes we're going to start with here. So we're going to do a basic ice cream, then we're going to make one that uses cactus jelly. Cactus jelly is very simple to make. You use the cactus flesh, and you'll uh, refine it down once. Then you do another batch that you refine down twice. That gets you the cactus nectar and refined sugar. You cook those together, and you get cactus jelly. Real, real simple. Uh, crunchy caramel. You need refined sugar for that. So again, back to the cactus flesh. And you refine that down with salt in the cooker. And you will get crunchy caramel. Two very simple um, items to whip up. Boom. And there's our regular ice cream. Let's get that going. And salt you find all over the place. I've got a salt mine on one planet. Salt, if you have been watching my channel at all, is the key to making a ton of money early in the game with little effort. All you need is salt and oxygen. And you can basically start cleaning up. So let's get these basic ones down. They don't require a lot of effort other than gathering up all these frozen tubers. And we're going to get three different types of ice creams. And wow, where'd this big ship come from? Nice. All right, so we'll come back after these are done cooking up and see what we end up with. All right, well, it looks like our ice cream is uh, coming to fruition. So let's pick it up and get it in our little exosuit there. Get it all gathered up. There's some fruity ice cream. We got regular ice cream. And then here we've got a caramel ice cream that we're whipping up. Now, the other ones we're going to do require a little more leg work. But it's not going to be too horrible. All right, we got that. So let's take a look at what else is in our inventory here. We've got hexa berries, bittersweet cocoa, and graw berries. So these two are unrefined items that we find on planets. So we'll go show you where those are located. And bittersweet cocoa is a refined item, a refined plant. And it's very similar to the tubers, where it's something you got to go out and pick you don't grow any of those so you know that makes it a little more complicated but again not the end of the world so let's go track those down all right our first stop is going to be to locate some hexa berries and the easiest way to find these is to locate one of these glitch planets and there's um, several different types in the, in uh, the game they're easy enough to find they've always got these weird exotic biomes on them um, they generally don't have anything that you can harvest on them other than maybe gold or silver, stuff like that. You know, they don't, they don't have um, phosphorus or anything. They might have cobalt. They might have salt. Uh, they might have sodium. So we look around for the plant insignia and see what we can find. Well, we don't see any yet. So just like we did on the last planet, we'll take a stroll. You got that cool creature, right? See, that's a creature. And look at that. Fiendish Row for future reference. We might be looking at that sometime down the line. I don't know. So let's do a little cruising here. Peek around, and we should find some Hexaberry in a short amount of time. Bingo. There it is. Let's go over there and grab some for our stash. And again, it's just like the other plants like this. They, it's totally random how many you pick up, you know, when you get it. Let's see what we get with this one. And yeah, five, six, six. Okay. So, you know, we got seven on the last one. We got six on this one. Not bad. We'll head out to the next planet and see what's what we're going to get next. All right, here we go. Look for radioactive planets to locate grawberries. Grawberries are the next one we're going to look for. Uh, the easiest way to identify these is by finding a planet that has um, uranium on it. And we'll do a little scan around, see what we can find here. And look at that, there's grawberries right here outside of our base and oh look there's one of those cool little ladybird bugs that I found 
Woohoo. Alright. Um, sorry. Squirrel. So here we come up to some grab berries. Where are they? Around here somewhere. Is it down here? Ah. Uh, wait, I thought there was one right here. I could have swore. Oh, it's up here. Oh, it's hidden. Okay. There you go. You can see it in there, and it's not a really good example of one, because um, it's kind of hidden in all this bush. But that's what they look like, these big orange open, just like the picture there. And look at that. We get nine off of that one, so that's pretty cool. So we'll take those back to the base, but before we head back, we got one more thing to get, and that is bittersweet cocoa. And again, that's not something we get in the wild. We're going to need to find another plant for that and refine it down. So let's do that right now. All right, so now we're going to want to locate a lush planet for our next item that we're looking for, and that is the impulse bean. And you'll see it right there, 205 meters away. Uh, these lush planets often have paraffinium on them. So you find a planet with paraffinium, uh, star bramble, you've got a lush planet just like that. Very, very easy to locate. And the impulse beans, they almost look like those uh, curled up plants that attack you, you know, the ones that look like a, a tentacle almost. So they're easy to confuse for that, but this is what they look like. We get up and close and personal. Boom. Look at that. We got 10 off of one. And you just refine those down one for one you get the bittersweet cocoa and that is uh the secret to the chocolate ice cream so now we've got all our ingredients gathered up we're going to go back and make the rest of these ice creams up so i'll see you back at the farm all right we are back at the farm so let's get the rest of these delicious ice creams cooking up so a little viscous custard little frozen tubers and a hexaberry. Whoops, helps if we start cooking it up. Next up, a little viscous custard, frozen tubers again, and this time a little bittersweet cocoa. And last but certainly not least, we'll do a little custard again frozen tubers, and finally, the ever-delicious grawberry. All right. We're going to take a minute, let these guys uh, finish cooking up, and then we'll see, you know, the results of all of our ice creams, what they're worth, what they do, and um, that'll pretty much do it for this video today. So we'll see you in a minute. All right. Well, let's check it out and see what we got here. Perpetual ice cream, we'll pick that up. Chocolate ice cream, ooh. A classic, favorited by uh, kids all over this universe and beyond. And then this one here, the Vice Cream, get it? Like the Viking? Kind of neat. All right, so we've got six different ice creams we made here. That's pretty awesome. Let's take a look in depth now. Regular old ice cream, 2.4 million units. <laughs> Not bad. Also gives you 25% hazard protection if you eat it. Not bad at all. I mean, yeah, it does take a little legwork. So, you know, it's uh, 2.4 million units for a stack of 50. Not too shabby. Fruity ice cream is less, and it requires more work. 2.2 million units. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? And that's the one that had the, um, oh, what did we put in there? Good Lord, I can't even remember that far back. It's been such a day. Oh, that was the uh, uh, cactus jam. And we got caramel ice cream, 2.8 million units. So far, the most valuable of the ice creams. 
And that one gives you 25% hazard protection. That seems to be a theme with the ice creams. Perpetual ice cream, this is the one with the hexaberries, 2.2 million units. So not that great. I mean, it's basically the same as some fruity ice cream. Chocolate ice cream, again, 2.2 million units. And then the vice cream, 2.2 million units. And they all provide 25% hazard protection across the board. So that at least is uh, you know consistent. So if you found this video useful, please leave a like on it down below and comment. Tell me what you think of it. You're going to make some ice cream. You're going to sit back and enjoy a nice, cool, fruity or chocolatey, delicious treat. I know I'm about to. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. I do put out videos daily, and that notification bell will help you keep up with them and let you know when they drop. Also, if you share us on social media, it is greatly appreciated. This has been another episode of No Man's Sky, and as always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.